What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Bree Star, Webby, whatever you want to call me, don't matter. Um, I really just want to address something <clears throat> that gets on my nerves, okay? And it's people who try to clown other people and don't even have proper grammar. Like, for example, I just put this on Facebook as well. I'm probably going to put it on Twitter too because it gets on my nerves. By the way, I'm going to have to make another Facebook page, but my Twitter is um, www. I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it. It's going to be right there. Okay. Well, right there. It's going to be it. But anyway, when people say, um, I could I could care less what you have to say, or uh, I could give two about what you say. Um, that's incorrect, completely, because by you saying that in that context, you are implying that there is still a part of you that cares, like, that means that you do care, and, um, you, you could give two shits, or you could give a damn, you know what I'm saying, like, like, you have that to give. You know what I'm saying? When you say that I couldn't care less, that means that there's, like, you are at your wit's end of caring. You know what I'm saying? When you say that you could care less, then that means that you care this much and you have the potential to care that much. So that means that, therefore, there is still space for that person or whatever, you know what I'm saying, the situation is. For them to annoy you so much until you get to where you couldn't care anymore. You know what I'm saying? Please get that right. Please know that when you say that, you are incorrect. Okay? You are not right. You are not right. Not. You are wrong. If you want to say it in that context, in that, that, um, that sentence, or you trying to clown or book somebody, please get it right okay because you're gonna sound dumb if you're gonna clown somebody sound smart and do it okay be intelligent with it you feel me another thing when people say that hurt it okay last i checked hurt it is not a word it is not a plural word it is singular okay when something hurts only that person can feel that hurt you're talking about physical hurt. You know what I'm saying? Physical hurt. Even even emotional hurt. Because, you know what I'm saying, even though a group of people might go through something, that doesn't that doesn't mean that everyone feels the exact same kind of hurt. You know what I'm saying? So you can't say that, that hurt it because you just can't. It's incorrect. It's not right. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's not right. It is totally incorrect, you sound ignorant, you sound dumb, and you're not right, okay, get that together, it is hurt, that hurt, okay, because you felt that, you, last I checked, are one person, unless you're like schizophrenic or something like that, then maybe I can accept it, but until then, until you become like schizophrenic, or have multiple personalities, Say that hurt, okay? Because you cannot feel more than one type of hurt. Like, you can't feel someone else's hurt. So get it right. What is something else that um, bothers me? I really need to start making lists of things I want to talk about. Um, what else do people say that aggravates me? Um, hmm, let me see. Um... I don't know. I mean, there's there's a lot of things that people say that get on my nerves, but those probably have to be the top two. Um, I'm really trying to think of something else that people say that gets on my nerves. Um, and I want to clear this up as well. I'm from the South. I've lived in the South my whole life. The furthest North I've ever been um, is Maryland. That is the 
that is as far north as I've ever gone. Um, if you want to talk about uh, the East Coast. Um, I have been to, let me see, I've been to Chicago. I don't know if you want to call that North by me. It was just a visit. It wasn't like, you know, I was staying there with family and, you know, I had time to actually develop a Chicago sense of mind or anything like that. You know, so, so I have, I've lived in the South my whole life, my whole life. And by the way, I do know that Maryland sometimes is not, con well, I don't know. People can. I don't know. People have their different um, perspectives on Maryland, but that's like I said, as far north as I've gone. It's higher than where I live, which is Kentucky. It's higher than that, so it's north. But anyway, um, I do have an accent. I know I have an accent. When I'm not making videos and um, talking to my friends and everything like that, my accent. If you think that it's thick now, you ain't heard nothing yet. Okay. I'm like dead dead serious like I have a pretty thick accent and it just it just comes it just flows you know what I'm saying but when I'm talking to a group of people <clears throat> when I'm talking to a group of people or um a teacher or an adult I'm going to get it right I am going to clear it up all right my accent is there all right I'm like Nancy Grace no matter what I'm always gonna have an accent you know what I'm saying I've never tried to um, get rid of it um, I love my accent other people that are not from her love my accent you know they like the fact that I say her and not here or her and not hair you know her and her sound alike I'm saying her you know or in Spanish like pelo I think that's what it's called Yes, that's me, me, Bella. Anyway, that's her. Okay, her. But that over there is her. You know what I'm saying? You got her and her. So it's all the same. So people really like, you know, the fact that I say that. And even though I do have an accent, that does not mean that I'm not smart. You know, I'm smart as a whistle. You know, I don't know how correct that is. I don't know how smart a whistle can get. So I don't know if that's even a, a good example but I'm a very very intelligent articulate person I am but at the same time when it's not business when it's not school when it's not it's not my time to be professional or conduct myself I don't have to conduct myself in a way that's not natural for me you know not to say that I'm ghetto or anything like that because I'm not ghetto you know what I'm saying I live in the suburbs of um, Louisville, Kentucky. So, you know, I just am who I am. And, you know, if you ever, I'll make videos, you know what I'm saying, when I'm with my friends and all that. And, you know, you'll hear it. You'll hear it. That's, that's just me. That's just how I am. That's how I, that's just me. This here, I'm... I have the potential since it's going on YouTube. I have the potential to touch an immaculate number of people. You know, more people than I have ever even imagined would would look at me. I have the potential to do that. If people watch this video, you know, everyone of course gonna have their own opinion. But one thing that you cannot say is that I am not educated, or um, or I don't know how to conduct myself in an orderly manner, I guess you could say, you know, I mean, I guess you could say that if you wanted to, you know, depending on your uh, perception of, of people that live in the South or um, anything of that nature, but, you know, you would know that I, that I can at least sound somewhat proper I guess you could say um or somewhat smart even though I keep saying you know what I mean you know what I'm saying or you know all that that's that's just me you know if I'm going to have a job interview which I will be doing soon I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that see I correct myself because you know I'm able 
I know, you know, I know. But this video, I mean, it's kind of sort of uh, for, I mean, um, it has different subjects. I don't know. Um, but it all touches, where's my phone? It all touches. Uh,